Hmm. Friday is here again. Welcome to the show. I'm Mariah Afolabi Brown. As always, I have my lovely co-host. Hi, ladies. Good morning. Hi, Thank God it's Friday. Friday. How are you? I am very, very good. Business is doing well. Things are stabilizing. Um, I was having a conversation yesterday, and someone was saying, well, what's, what, what do you see Ewabela in the next one year? And I, said, I said, well, as per makeup, uh, I feel like I'm growing roots. You know, like if you're building a multi-story building, it's different mm. from when you're building a bungalow. Yeah. So we're putting in serious structures into training staff, ensuring there's consistency and quality of service across the branches. I said, so what I'm doing seems invisible to mm. you. Wow. Because the person I was making, like, it was looking at, ah, you, you know, mm. I'm not seeing you doing noise. so. I said, I'm doing stuff. And this part is vital to what you will see in future. So um, I'm happy about business. We're open this weekend and services will be awesome as usual. You know, so we should come like, and get our People just come there for breath. When they're going party to party makeup. So, ah, uh, Omuraya, you, uh, you, you know you don't really do this. You're not, I call uh, somebody to come to the house. So um, recently we've realized that people are moving from home service, which is more expensive for quality service, to studio so mm -hmm. i'm on my way and i just branch the studio i do my makeup, makeup and, 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 and i go mm -hmm. so it's um, pivotal for my business to be positioned around estates mm. so that it is easy for you as you're going oh, out to branch mm. yeah so that's the is work while working <laughs> how are you doing, doing madam i'm doing well wait any plans for the weekend the anything just work just work how are you doing i'm doing great i have this game i would like to play with us when yeah. we're in school, there's this game, uh, not, not game, in class, they'll ask you who said this to whom and on what occasion. Hmm. So uh -huh. I want to ask you guys, who said this to whom and on what occasion? It is achieved now. I don't understand. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to make it in no time, chop, chop. Ah. Hey. <laughs> who that, guy, said that, it? That, that guy is always going around. <laughs> that guy that came with uh, the corner show. I should not answer. No, don't dare answer. <laughs> Do you know? I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, me, I mean, throughout the, week, throughout the week, I've been listening to her song. Uh, it's the tune in my head all through. Oh, she yeah. goes, there's a never part that she goes, me. yeah, never tired. The part that she goes, I'm going to make it in no time, chop, chop. Yes, sir. And, uh, oh, that's cool. <laughs> so, you see, so you say I'm your number one fan. Know, so when you blow, I know, baby. when you blow. I know, baby. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing great. Um, yesterday, I walked into a health club. Mm. and register the whole family i've been trying to get my husband to go to the gym mm. like at least even if you can't uh, achieve uh, six packs mm. let's start with three packs <laughs> <laughs> you know and he's refused so i just went in registered the whole family every saturday now background i'll carry the jeep <laughs> we'll go there everybody will gym <laughs> swim and it's once a you week. know once a week <laughs> yeah know? it's good I, I need i need sexy back you know mm. Sarah. Yeah, so that's what I'm doing. Please, what's your plans? <laughs> this weekend, <laughs> Mariah, you know that you're the party. Oh, I have, I have, I have, I have yeah. a wedding. I have ah, a wedding. Oh, yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Also, a play as well. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah we're going to we're going Joyce. To Joyce. Yes. Yeah, yes. same thing. Yeah, she sent us tickets. Uh, she asked the ladies of your view to be there, which was great because thank God we're part of her story. Oh, so mm -hmm. then I have to, to give right? my own ticket to someone then. Yeah. Yeah. Saturday. Um, we already have tickets. Yeah. 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 We, yeah. We, yeah. I can give an extra one for my husband. I can take it. Saturday? Yeah. Yes, oh, this yeah. weekend. So uh, because we're part of her, she was just the former host of the show. So we're part oh. of her success story, which is great. Mm -hmm. We're excited about that. So we're going to be supporting her this weekend. Yep. Yeah. It's called Satan. Something. Satan. Mm -hmm. Comedy of Satan. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Satan. Okay. It's just called Satan. So. That's what you're on. doing. That's what you're doing this weekend. <laughs> this weekend, yeah, pretty much. And I'm going to have a few activities online, um, no, on the island this oh, weekend. Okay. So just, just nothing major. Yesterday, I complained about my electricity. And, and suddenly, light came. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I had you. It happened the last time to where I didn't have light for like a few, like five days or so. And I mentioned to you of you, the next day I had. So, you know, I, you maybe said. they know my address. This was. I think you should complain about your road. So those that know your address, your yeah. road is They're terrible. All the, all the Lagos State people that I know, mm. I was talking to them about the road, they just mouth, mouth, they know, shine, you can't go the, the road happened. is bad, and it's actually within terrible. the purview of the local government chairman, I'm and you have saying. a local government. We have a local government chairman in K2 states. The, Who is that? The K2, Chocolate, in K2. Right? Mm. Call him out. Yes, I'm going to call you out on Monday. The road is bad. Mm. Come you on, can ask for my number. Thank you. I'll give you the address. That road on my street is so bad. Yes, it is. Because, ah, man. Anyway, let's go on a break, shall we? Plenty of papers. We read all these papers. Yeah, we'll breathe yeah. through. <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> let's go on a break. When we come back, we'll breeze through the front pages of yeah. things. Stay with us. We'll be right back. <laughs> oh, 
All right, we'll start with the punch. Primaries, APC bows to governors, say states free to opt for any method. I have no anointed candidate, says Ajimo B. Picture here of our vice president. Shimbajo visits Anambra Delta, sympathizes with flood victims. Death of students, others not cult related, says AAU. Soldier kills colleague, injures four, shoots itself, himself dead. 2019, Buhari formally reappoints Amechi as Captain DG. Sambo heads panel to screen Saraki, Atiku, and others. Uh, president in closed door meeting with Ambody. Lagos leads as Nigeria's foreign debt hits $22 billion. Rescue Lear, others before it's too late, says Khan and NLC. Nigeria Air PDP demands Sirica's arrest over alleged $1.2 billion fraud. <coughs> Malibu, Italian judge jails Nigerian, one other. So this soldier that kills colleagues. And yes, I have the human angle story. So uh, two staff agents of the Nigerian army identified as Adego, Bako and Saka have been killed and four others injured. According to some of the stories, they said the guy walked into the uh, training ground and started shooting, then killed himself. But the army confirmed the story saying that it was accidental discharge, that they were having an in-house uh, training at the camp in Borno. So people are now saying that uh, normally when armies train, they use pellets. They don't use the real bullets. So they have to look into what really happened. So investigations are I, ongoing. I, I, I worry. I want to believe the army officials. I feel that we have a culture of silence and covering up things in our mm. country. But it, there's nothing wrong with somebody having post-traumatic stress disorder. Mm. And these people, a lot of army people, people that have gone through the force or served in the army, tend to have these challenges. And they, 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 they need to get psychological, psychological, psychological help so don't just cover it up investigate and find what the real problem is if you're not disclosed to us but save other people mm. especially for those that have died okay let's uh, move on uh, to new telegraph southern northern leaders express fears over 2019 polls uh, nap tip sacks six officials for demanding sex from hmm. victims teenager arrested for raping seven varsity students um, let's see, which other story can I pick here? Play two women protest as military searches for missing general. Yeah, That's, that. You have that story. Mm -hmm. Please tell us about that. Okay, so in Plata State, there's a, a Major General Mohammed Al Ali was traveling from Abuja to Bauchi, I think. Yes. So on his way, um, he, he got missing, or the last heard from him around Joss area. And the military is suspecting that he had stopped by or was kidnapped in this village um, called Du. And his body, he was either shot and then his body and his vehicle dumped in a pond in Whoa. the village. Mm. So they have sort of, they're in this town right now, in that Such village, teams. searching for him. And they have insisted on evacuating the pond. The women have come out in hundreds and they are insisting that the military cannot touch that pond because for them it's sort of like an ancestral pond. Nobody wow. touches it. If you touch it, it will affect the community negatively. People will die. But then also, which I think might be their real grouse, is that they've had um, you know, these killings of the people in that community for months over and over again and nobody has come to them or given them any sort of um, comfort. And now your military officer is missing and you're in our community okay. chasing us down yeah. and pushing us that's down. That's the, the, the southern, southern, southern northern leaders express yes, fears. Our, our elders from the north, south, and the east. Um, Ayo, Chief Ayo Adebayo of Afeni Ferry, um, Prof Anglo Abdullahi of um, Northern Elders Forum, Chief Nlan Wodo of Ohanese, and um, Poju Bitrut of the Middle Bell Forum, um, E.K. Clark also all coming together from this uh, major geopolitical zone saying that if we don't resolve the issues some issues on ground pending before the election we would have crisis during the election mentioning that the funding of INEC is a major issue the reconvening of the national assembly the challenge of vote buying in general should all be dealt with in time also that the fund that is supposed to be released to INEC is still being there's still partisan issues right. trapped within lawmakers and if they don't resolve it the money will be released in, in, in too short a time before the elections it will affect the implementation of the elections useless. also mentioned that security officials also need funding and that it should be have been approved by now or seven months for mm. um, before the elections and seems like we're not ready Ready to have an it election. There was Do a story about for, NAPTIP okay. because NAPTIP actually sacked six of their officials mm -hmm. trying to demand money and demand sex from people, victims. These are people that 
have victims, victims who, yeah. that you're supposed to, to protect. Protect, exactly. Let me so mention really, that NAFTIC is the active. national, as, um, 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 is the agency against P, um, persons trafficking. Traffic, yes. So they're the ones that deal with wow. um, people going to um, Libya. For Libya and mm. trying to get into Italy and all that. So now so, when they bring them, they so now they're being oh abused God. by those that are Exactly. Moving on to the nation, Oshun Confusion, SDP, ADP, ADC over Alliance. Presidency tackles Saraki for disparaging Buhari. <laughs> Two dead in Ekiti Bank robbery. Buhari names Amechi campaign coordinator. So Amechi is back, uh, uh, the minister is back as the campaign coordinator. I wonder. Yeah. He was, they said it was very effective 2014, 2015. Yes. Oh, so it was just important to bring him back. Mm. Mm. So in Ekiti, there was Shouldn't a robbery. Did we? Design. No, he's, he's, he's the campaign. He's, 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 the trans, he's already a minister. He's a so current that, minister. He can, uh, so what exactly is he going to be doing effectively? Would he be earning salary as a mm. minister mm. and, and working? They say so where his, his attention will be divided. He's just a... It's not, so it doesn't matter. He can do both. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please, in Ekiti, there was a robbery. Sad story. I think this happened on Wednesday. And uh, these robbers went into this first generation bank, the name of the bank wasn't mentioned. And uh, about 5.30 p.m., after working hours, they shot at the, or they shot a staff as, as well as a guard. They were able to escape, even though the police got there on time, but they escaped. Right. And okay. were, they're okay. praying that if anybody finds them, they should let them know, and they're okay. talking about putting more um, security, security in banks. Uh, okay. You know. okay, let's so move on to Daily Sun, rift, between, rift with Tenumbu, Ambody six Buhari's help. Hmm. Resist your godfather, Rivers Governor tells <laughs> Lagos counterparts. Hmm. Surveillance on campaign finances, which hunt of opposition, says we keep. Picture here 48 hours after his tax force gave tanker drivers five the ultimatum to vacate the road. You can see the picture here. The tankers still stuck mm -hmm. on the highways. Flooding, Oshimba just storms Anambra and Delta. 2019 APC bows to governors, makes U turn on indirect primaries. Let's talk about Oshimbajo. So, the Oshibanjo, oh, yes, uh, he visited um, um, Anambra and Delta State yeah. to see the flood victims, and um, he was impressed with what um, the Delta State government had been able to do at the IDP camp. Yeah. The um, equipment are there, the place is okay for the people, over 700 people. So, he had a conversation with <coughs> those people, and he also promised that the uh, federal government will work hand in hand with the state government to ensure that all those people who've lost their houses and their farmlands will be adequately compensated. So, we know those that have lost to be compensated, those that are about to lose, can we have a shelter for them? There's a shelter in Delta State. No, which is which I'm saying that they are number the, because we had um, Obi 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 saying they should evacuate because they have. Yes. In, um, pending flood. They, they have warnings that they will be flooded. Can we have shelter for the evacuation? Please, I don't take the political story because um, Willie Obiano is the. I mean, I say Willie. Um, okay. Rike okay. of PDP, um, governor of um, River State. State, is the only one speaking for PDP and is alleging that the surveillance unit that is being appointed by EFCC in conjunction with INEC to monitor campaign funds is going to be targeted at the opposition and that it is not, it is not a ploy to strengthen election. It is a ploy, ploy to give the ruling party extra and advantage, advantage, you know. And so I think that it's good to monitor campaign funds, but can we be across, can it be across all parties so that we I don't see that the witch hunt? Yeah, well, that's his interpretation on it. And what exactly. would you expect what right. the interpretation would be? Because this is a good thing and we need to recognize that. So going forward we yes, money yes, let's so move on to vanguard very quickly Ambody not in battle says oshemole as apc governors rally support mm -hmm. uh 2019 elections threatened unless oshunpo i'll dance to governor's house after winning that's adeliki yes sir. party bows <laughs> to governors on indirect primaries <laughs> alleged forgery i'm not under pressure to resign says buhari's aide uh, article inaugurate 60-man presidential nomination com um, committee 16. and communications minister Shitu in NYSE certificate mess. So, yeah, so um, what's the story? I don't have the story. I have the Adibayo Shitu story. The communication. Um, so, minister. Um, okay. Hang in there. So, he's ahead, saying, so he's saying that, um, okay, so news has come out that he did not serve, he did not do his NYSE. And uh, he said that in, when he was 25 years old, he represented his state at the state house of assembly levels so for able to do for being able to do that mm. he he was exempted from nyse he said mm. even at the time his opponent had taken him to court and court had you know thrown it out and saying that since he won he could go ahead th that means he could be exempted from nyse okay so He's saying that we're just chasing shadows or whoever yeah. it is, they're just so chasing the shadows. Is going to dance. Wants to win. Yes, um, he said this at an interactive uh, session that um, he's all, 
they shouldn't judge him because he dances. Everybody dances. So he's going to win that. I love that, dancing. Uh, 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 he has politics. With TVC, with and now he has. Organized the debate yesterday. He didn't, he didn't show, up. show up. We really hope that he'll be there. He but he didn't show up. Saving mm -hmm. the time for But he's available to talk to people about dancing. About in dance. <laughs> but like, you know another thing that I've been worried about. Um, David Doe is supposed to be in NYSC and he's going around campaigning. Don't worry, he's not going to be Is that part of NYSC? Is that example? Somebody, Mariah, we're out of time. So. Which we should we just ignore? <laughs> yeah, let's move on. <laughs> he has gone to see our president. Hopefully, uh, I, don't, I read somewhere that the president change. might actually come to Lagos to I'm, discuss, I'm, I'm, talk I'm with really the worried, chieftains. Though. But why are we I'm just assuming that he went to talk to him about me, that? I'm just he would have gone for anything. That, yeah. Yeah. He would have gone for anything. Cut the visit. Why, why are you trying to... Cut the visit, call. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Shad, please do. Whatever somebody has done, please forgive him. Ah. Uh, we're out of time. Let the yeah. people out of time. choose. Let the people <laughs> That's choose what they want. <laughs> we'll be right back with the hot topic. Stay with us. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to your. Yes, thanks for staying with us. So there has been lots and lots of controversies. It's Friday, right? We're talking about celebrities. So yes. there's controversies surrounding Wizkid and his baby mama. Uh, in fact, the stories we heard is that Wizkid asked his fans to help him make a decision concerning where to build a public school in Lagos. However, one of his baby mamas accused him of not paying his son's school fees. According to her, charity begins at home. Mm. Now, Everybody's talking about this. It's like the hottest news on social media. We'd like to hear your thoughts on it. You can call us on 070-806-68014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag YourViewTVC so we can read your tweets. Now, I don't want us to focus so much on WeSkid because he is the case study. Yes, mm -hmm. one of us will share what happened. But the real crux of the conversation is how do we manage single parenting, mm -hmm. co-parenting? Co how do... Fathers, especially those who are single fathers, participate in the development of the child who mm. probably stays with the mother. So there's still that confusion because in this climb, all we understand is mommy, daddy in the house and kids. Mm -hmm. But there's this new culture of Bagan single parenthood babies. happening and people seem to be confused how on how it. to handle it. Yeah, so, <laughs> so, so we need to have the conversation. So the whiskey is just with one minute. Yes, so Let's one minute. Minute. Yeah. Before we deal with the issue, issue. can I just yab the whiskey? Yeah, go ahead. Because you cannot be a multi-millionaire and star, star and signed as ambassadors to many companies. My and if you're three baby mamas, you have three children from three women, and the three of them complain that you don't fund their, the, your child. And you take pictures and post your child. Ew. You are celebrating your child. But the three of them said you don't fund. That, that, is, that is a, so you have, um, so, is a so, crime so in so itself. You're, so, so you're blaming Wizkid based on what you heard exactly. one side of the story. Have you seen his bank account to know that he can Have you heard his side of the story? Let me just not talk about the... But I can afford it. He can afford it because life is about responsibility. If you're responsible, if you want to do something, you'll find it. A willing mind will find a thousand ways. Let me remind myself, for those who have no idea what we're talking about, please, introduce Tell us exactly what happened in a nutshell, and then let's come about, let's talk about co-parenting. Okay, so there were just this series of screenshots of her conversations between that this particular baby mama, Shola, and um, Whiskey, and also conversations between her and her sister, I keep saying sister-in-law, um, Whiskey's sister. sister. So basically, it's just her maybe asking for rent money, fees, money to travel, and then it takes him several months or weeks to get back to her. She has to beg and beg and beg. She sent so many messages, he will not respond to her. And then, but eventually he does. You know, he's, um, she's asked for rent. He didn't get back to her until it was almost too late. There was a time that he was supposed to give like a signed consent for her to travel with the child. He didn't get back to her. And then you would see conversations where she's saying, you need to talk to me. We need to know. And then there are times where he will promise to see the child. And she would tell this child, of course, the child is expe uh, expecting to hear from daddy and excited. And then he doesn't show up or he doesn't even communicate why he ha he's not showing up. And so there's back and forth between them. Then also there's something <coughs> in it about boundaries, which is... There's some of her conversation which seemed like she was trying to be a bit more familiar where she calls him like, you know, um, pet names, calls him star boy and then he's he quickly, upset. yeah, he gets upset and like, 
the relationship between you and I is just strictly based on our child. We do not, we do not mention have, what caused this we drama. We skid tweeted that he wants to build a public school in Lagos. You already yes. mentioned it mentioned now. It. So that and that was the that that's the thing. If yes. you cannot, if you you can't, you know, we tend to do this dressing. You know, we dress the outside okay. where so there are come, issues let's come on to the, the ground. Let's the matter. Yeah. Because and I want the to start. issue of the <clears throat> co-parenting, especially. Yeah. First of all, you're going into a relationship, you're not married. Mm -hmm. Me, I have, me, that's my own foundation. You I have issue. an issue with that. I have a serious issue. Okay. Having a baby for somebody who you feel is well to do, or even anybody, getting pregnant out of wedlock. Mistakes happen. Sometimes mistakes happen, we understand. Yeah, we it's, not, it's not planned. But there's some of these ladies that yeah, intentionally, uh -huh. because they want to have a beast kids baby. I'm not saying any of the ladies did that. I'm okay. just saying that <clears throat> these things happen. Now, when it comes, what are the surrounding factors that come with this kind of situation is what we need to address and how do we empower women to face it for okay. what it is. Okay, Mariah, let me build on this because a lot of people, like what you just said, and a lot of people, you know, have given that um, disapproval for baby mamas, okay? It happens, why, why would you be a baby mama and all of that? I understand. But there are two angles to look at it. Some women intentionally want to have children for celebrities, so they work at it. While others, Ha it happened because they got into a relationship that they are not even sure of. There is, there is what they call a semi-relationship, like f moving from like a one-night stand to maybe then you start becoming a boy and a girl, boyfriend, girlfriend, then some even get as much as cohabiting with each other. Some even end up in marriage. Mm -hmm. But those relationships are not really, there's no bond between the man nothing and the legal. woman, nothing like, no, aside from legality, there's no bond, there is no commitment. A lot of people get into relationships without commitment. Now, why this, we have dead beat that is because there's no commitment in that relationship. So I, I don't feel you anymore, I move on, and I'm not able to take care of that child. So we need to work on okay, that fine. commitment. So if we understand that the men are not committed, mm -hmm. so why are we expecting so much from them? Good. And that is where I would like to even take this discussion. We have discussed baby mamas too many times. We already know it happens, whatever the cause that causes it. But then there's this, uh, there's this other part where, where I want us to discuss, which is the baby daddies. What is the role of the baby daddy? Is just providing money enough? No, you have to be part of your child's life. And I think that a lot of people who now find themselves in this situation do not know how to handle it, which is okay. I do not like this woman. I cannot stand her, but we have a child together. I love my child. How do I, you know, have this relationship? So that is where you have to now co-parent. Oh, and I'm saying that we have like a lot of, um, people are able to talk to you, marriage counseling, when you have relationship, they talk, but they are unable, but I don't think we have enough time where we talk about yeah, co-parenting. Uh, we, we, we actually so really bring an extra because we saw Jada um, Jada Pinkett Smith's um, story. Yes. Okay. How she is mature enough to engage her uh, husband's ex. We going ex. Too far. Two Face is the perfect example of a responsible baby, baby daddy. Baby daddy. Mm -hmm. Because he's had multiple children and he's from multiple women and he has maintained himself as being a good father, attending school functions. Mm. And whiskey, they're just learning work beside um, um, Two Face. I think that when we attach so much. Um, grandeur to being celebrities, we lose that. Celebrities are human beings and you have a responsibility. You father three children, they are yours. I, I strongly feel that when it comes to co-parenting, there should be discussion and partnership. Those screenshots shows that it was extremely one-sided, one woman carrying the responsibility of interested. nurturing and raising can the I, children. I, I One, you, number two, we have cases where a woman, in most cases, when you find yourself already having children, for, you had a child, for a, a man that is irresponsible, get your acts together. Woman, get a job. Mm -hmm. you, Wait, you have to live within he, your means. Why should he fund your trip okay, abroad? Okay, talk, Why should he pay for no, your no, rent? In fairness to the man involved, mm -hmm. sometimes when you give baby mamas those leeways to have those conversations, mm -hmm. they think they, they start the getting chummy, mm -hmm. thinking that, oh, there's a possibility we okay. can reconnect. Mm -hmm. And you as a guy said, I have moved on. I want to stick to the child. So maybe why men would rather just stay off is that I don't want you to start thinking the, the major problem, you on. The major like, problem, the, um, um, Mariah, is it's not just about baby mamas. Even in married homes, we have deadbeat dads who run away. I have a very close friend who the husband, I've said this be before, no, run jump away. Marriage. No, 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 I'm not jumping, I'm not yes. jumping into it. The issue is the deadbeat dads, dads who do not take responsibility for their children and the expectations of the baby mamas or the mothers. That's what we're talking about. So we have people, it's about responsibility. It's about you knowing that I have this child with you. 
we should come together and work things out. Whether we're coming back as uh, uh, people in a relationship or not, the child should be the focus. So how do we get them? I would suggest the law should do something about it. Okay, let me take Taiwo. Taiwo, are you there? Thanks for calling. Oh, good morning. Good morning, Mark. Greg. Please. This is, my, this is my first time on your Welcome team. to the show. Welcome to the show. Uh, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Because this issue of um, value and customs, I want us to actually look at. Well, I believe that most of babies, mama, they do it intentionally, you know, dating this so-called teenager. Because they, they believe that, you know, there's assurance somewhere or the other. I want us to look at it. I cannot, you don't know how I make my money and you just want to, you know, get some money and, you know, move on from there. If we give us whatever and we are not married, we should have responsibility. As a father, probably I'm responsible for the school fees, for feeding and all that. And as a mother, what are you bringing to the table? But not that you will not work, you will not get involved in any business. And at the end of the time, you want me to always bring money to the table. I think it is not fair. Thank you so much. Let, let's yes, I agree with him. Men must be responsible if you, whether you're married or not, if you can for confirm that the child is yours. Every man should take responsibility for, that for child. his child, yes. whether in wedlock or outside oh, wedlock. Yeah. That's the right thing to do. And Every another... woman who is found herself alone with a child should hit the street. People mm, have done it work. years and okay. work and, and make ends meet. Okay. Right, for me also, I, I would like to also be able to differentiate between a deadbeat dad and an absentee father. Mm -hmm. So, um, and in using this kid, I do not want to talk about, it, call his name often, but using him as case study, I would not call him a deadbeat dad. From what I garner from, you know, the conversations, he's an absentee father. And some of us, even in marriages, have absentee fathers. Does he send money? Husbands, yes. He sends, yes. Oh, so the thing is, I think we, the reason why I'm saying we should talk about baby daddies, we should talk about baby daddies in Nigeria, we should talk about fathers in Nigeria. Fathers almost always think that, well, I'm providing fees, I'm providing you a roof over your head, but you're well, not involved. Not you Good. Why are you expecting so, more than yeah, that? No, but you're not involved in the, you in know, the in bringing up the child. So it also goes to the baby daddy who already feels I'm on the outside. If coming, you know, even if having a relationship with the child will mean having a relationship with you, then I'd rather not do anything. You can actually have a relationship with your child. Draw you know up what? like a timetable or a schedule and to, then you... We have you... to talk about this another day because obviously we can't exhaust it. Yeah, and I said, it's it. just to raise the awareness that, listen, there's a conversation out there about Fathers. single motherhood, co-parenting, and being a father yeah. to, a, well, to a child who you're not know, married to his mother. So it's important that we have this conversation, but one of these days we'll bring an expert to help yeah, us out because we can't exhaust it. It's getting, I mean, we, we, it was foreign to us before, mm -hmm. but now mm -hmm. it has come it's to stay. Everybody's doing co-parenting and funny, funny things it's like that. Of so we have to really get experts to show us the way. Let's go on a break. When we come back, our celebrity guest stays with us on the couch. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So Raphael Nee Steven is a prolific actor, director who studied performing arts at the University of Illinois. He has been acting since 2003, that's 2003. Oh, yeah. He's also one of the few multilingual actors who speaks Hausa, Yoruba, and English fluently yeah. and has been practicing on all three genres of movies. Welcome with us, Mr. Raphael. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good to have I'm, you on I'm the good. show. I'm good. Same here. You can call us on 070-806-68014. You can also tweet to us at TVC Connect. Please hashtag UWTVC so we can read your tweet. So before we go into your career, what you do and all that, what are your thoughts on what we talked about earlier? On Co-parenting, single mamas. Do you have any baby, baby mamas? mamas hanging around? Well, you see, uh, me, I don't. I'm the last person that should even ask this question. Why? Because I don't know what to say about that topic. Hmm. It is not known to us. Honestly, when you see baby mama, you see in, in, in the days back when you have issues with paternity and all that, even our law, 
Our law states that if you can claim paternity, the child belongs to the family, it belongs mm. to you. Okay. Mm. But these days that you have baby mamas, baby daddies, these guys who I even mentioned, I don't even know them. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. Culturally, you're not allowed to have any, uh, no, there's no legi legitimate child. Yeah. You're supposed to take ownership of every yeah. child. No, it's even so sad now that they have been celebrated. Mm. Oh my God. Even in my industry, you see quite a number of ladies, they are just single parents, okay, and yeah. it is like a norm. Mm. So we understand do you have, that. How many wives do you have? I have just one. Okay. Just like one. We, understand, <laughs> we understand the culture. We, are, we all live in Nigeria. Ah, we understand yes, that. Yes. Whether we want to accept it or not, the same way it was difficult for us to accept this issue of um, having sex before marriage, mm. it has come now to stay. People are enough. having it that now easily. Yes, yes. So it is here. From, from no. Same way now. Initially, we are, it's, it's foreign mm. to us to have this yes. single mama, baby yes. mama thing. Yes. But now, now it's, it's almost it has entered our system where people are just saying, I ah, can just have your child and, and I'll go. Hey. Want, so let us face it. How, what, what would you say to young men who are having baby mamas all over the place? How responsible should they be towards this okay, children? Okay, since you are forcing me to talk about it, <laughs> let me just give them my one penny advice. I think they should just learn to have um, self-control. Mm. You see, the problem, um, a couple of weeks back, I think two weeks ago, you were talking about celebrities and pressure. Mm. I, that, I, I, I was telling somebody, I said, ah, you see, People don't understand what celebrities face. Mm. The biggest problem with us in this part of the world is that we cannot control our startup. We don't mm. know how to manage our startup. Mm. Mm. People do this in everywhere outside the industry. But because we deal with the society, people focus on us. Mm -hmm. You understand? But if you can have self-control, I go out severally, I stay out like for a month, two months on location. I stay in the hotel. Now, so how come up to now I don't have somebody who claims to be my baby mama? You use protection. That, no, it could be that you are using protection. Okay, wait, wait. Let us, let us even talk about protection. Protection is part of self-discipline. Yes. yes. It is. Yes. So how come we have the baby mamas if people are using protection? protection. Mm. You're not using. That's, 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 that's the problem. So my own advice to them is that if you know you are in the eye of the public, Keep yourself. Manage yourself. Mm, even if you're true. not in the eye of the public. True. Please, even then, well, well, it happens manage everywhere. Manage yourself. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. But just manage yourself. Yeah. So that we will not be discussing yeah. baby mamas and baby papas today like yes. this. Yes. A lot of serious issues that we should be talking about, but mm, you know. Just, okay, my own is, I'm just so happy to see you. Uh, I'm so happy to be here, too. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, since when I've been dreaming to be with you. Yeah. <laughs> Your program that's basically, wow. I have a lot of people here. My big brother is here to Baba Jide, yeah, the same place. Um, Bosalami is also here, yeah. So oh. I have a lot of blood and flesh oh, around fantastic. here. So yeah, I stay yeah. glued to my program TV as soon as I'm, TV as, TV I'm all home, the way. Yeah. I watch TV, so program. <laughs> right? Go ahead, man. Now, just remember, as a young kid, in just TV, post Kankane, you know. So I've been wondering, in our case, in our case, speak our side when you were young. He's always been there. No, no, He's a young man. He's a young man, please. He's not that, you know. But I'm just saying, you've always been in our on our screens, in our faces. And then, Mokaga knew Nollywood, but Moganka Kumoba, May Paru, what happened? In our case, <laughs> you like you me. <laughs> Where have you gone? Please. You will. <laughs> <laughs> I understand what you're saying. Yeah. 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 It's my turn today, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Hey, so somebody wants to listen now. Nobody wants to hear this. Hey, me, too, Renji. I'm going to have to do it. I'm going to have to get it now. Hey, babe. All right, so I, I, I've been around. She, she's asking, where have I been since? I've been around, here and there, you know, our jobs. You are free today. Tomorrow, you are not free. We have been surviving, actually. That's, that's the language, because it's not fetching as much as mm. um, we want, but we are surviving. This is what we do. Mm. OK. So, so I want to ask this question, because you mentioned money. We see celebrities. Yes. Yes, and I, we always ask this <laughs> question. Ask question. Yes, yes, we always ask this question, because we want the real picture. And people out there don't understand the real picture they of don't. what it is to be an actor. They believe that once you're acting, you're a multimillionaire, you're yeah. a billionaire, you should be yeah. driving all the jeeps and all that. Yeah. What's the reality and how do you deal with the pressure of people coming to meet you, sliding to your DM with needs that okay. they expect you to meet for them? <clears throat> ah, seriously. Let me just start by being frank with you. Um, unfortunately so. I stand here to tell you that as much as I've stayed in the industry and as much job that I've done in the industry, mm. as I speak to you, I don't have a car. Whoa. That's the truth. I wanted to get A that. very, very painful truth. Mm. Now. I, my consideration, my priority is to build my family. Mm. Okay. You know, because the thing is, Morayo, if you see me outside with all the big cars and all that, and we just get talking, and you get to my house, and you just get back and say, I'm not proud of that guy. Look at his family, look at his kids, look at the wife and all that. So my, my thing is, I, I think as soon as I'm done with that, mm. then I can fix this. Mm. But they come every day in batches. Mm -hmm. 
Sometimes I just feel like, okay, somebody will send messages even from home, from my own people. Mm. Because they, they, when you tell them, ah, hey, I manage these people so well, they will say, oh, well, we just saw you yesterday on TV now. <laughs> so you don't keep explaining to everybody every day that, look, this thing, I don't chop the money, tea tea. <laughs> tea, tea. But because they see you today, mm. they, they, they think maybe they pay you that same yeah. day too. So we can, but it's the job that we do. We cannot do something else. We can't run away from you understand? So that that is that is a problem. It is a truth, painfully so. But some of us also prefer to do whatever they need to do to make the outside look beautiful. Yeah. And then you have a couple of friends like that that I actually find it difficult to move with them anymore because I just feel what you are abandoning is what me am trying okay, to take care of. I so walk so around every day. If I have the money, I pick up. Mm. If I don't have money, I enter Boss. commercial. The worst is you will look me, look, look. Somebody will even talk to your ears that, ah, I want me. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, that's not my name. I'm going on. I wanted to um, ask because we see the industry, we have the women, mm, the ladies yeah. seem to get so much out of the industry. Mm -hmm. And the men, on the other hand, they are not getting as much. So you, we have you now, you don't have a car. Yes. You are a prolific actor. Yes. You are doing well. You are, to the glory of God. you are getting paid and all of that. You don't change cars, you don't go on trips mm -hmm. every month. Mm -hmm. and so wh why is it that the women are seem to be succeeding more in acting than the men? Ah. In terms of financial... Um... You know, so that small time now, you come and say it's me that said something. <laughs> <laughs> say, I'm just doing my own day, day, just They call me for job, I go and do job. Where people get their own money, it's not my business. Are you going to go you into understand? politics? But, but, but you know, uh, mm -hmm. you should know, sorry, I'm going to go to something <laughs> But you should know before asking me that question. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I, don't mind that. Okay. I have, yeah. I have yeah. an idea. I want to, to say it. it. Say it. Ah, please. These ladies are talking about some of them are producers that give us jobs. Uh, so when they say, I say, Raf, we heard you yesterday on television. So it okay. is um, me, I'm doing my own. I collect okay. my uh, We're going to go on a break shortly because I wanted you to talk about New Nollywood. Uh, because you're obviously very talented, yes. uh, multilingual, speaking Hausa. You don't speak Igbo, but at least you speak Yoruba. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, unfortunately. So. I, I would like to know more about what you plan to do as a producer, yeah. to, because we need to engage more, especially house of content. A, a lot of we don't see a lot of it being exported. I don't maybe it is a lot of places, but we don't see it. Canningwood as give, giving that kind of um, leverage as it should be. When we come back, we'll talk more about that. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view. We'll be right back. Welcome back to your. No, 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 no! Why me alone me at all? Okay, fine, fine. Cause if you take my time, I'll do it. I don't even become a love. I was a doctor and she was a matron. That's it. Le. Please. Anything but one, but just tell me. No matter how bad it is, please. Well, we have to be long, mommy. I'm going to be going to stop going. I don't even be going on it. That's it. I want to see. Thank I was thinking they'll show a movie where you're speaking that you're okay. outside English. <laughs> ask you about the challenges you feel Kanyewood has because you speak, you, you do those movies too, and you do Yoruba movies. We'll come to Yoruba and English, but later. But in, what, what's your what's your take on Kanyewood and how it can overcome okay. the challenges? You, you see, Kanyewood. The major problem we have with Kanyewood is socialization. You understand? Um, not until recently. When you start seeing a couple of actors from Carnival mixing up with Lagos actors and programs like Glow programs and all that. Okay. Yes, it's not like that before because um, they are not too okay with what we call socialising mm. here. Yeah, you know, I, so without, let's say the culture and the religion. Yes, the yes, yes, it, 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 it does. Mm. It does. So they are not even looking, basically they are not looking at the money aspect. Mm, just they the just passion. enjoy what they do. You know, when we go there to work in Kaduna or Kano, I just discover that. These people are not money driven. No. Just oh. enjoy. If you see their cameras, the equipment that they even use. Ah. <laughs> well, you know, people still watch it. Yeah, mm. right. You understand? Mm. Their culture and tradition is so, their religion is so hard there that even husband and wife on the bed, you can hardly see them lying down together. 
it is that serious. Okay. Mm -hmm. The man could be standing, the wife is lying down, uh -uh. and then they never come together. <laughs> lie down together. <laughs> Not like ours are even going that they do it together in uh, all this. Uh, they still tell important stories. They tell important stories. Mm -hmm. Very mm -hmm. good stories. Beautiful stories. So, um, <laughs> do you get uh, female fans come after you when you go on sets? <sighs> Plenty. Plenty. How have you been able you to have manage the that? the factor now. This is uh, all dark and handsome. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, like, seriously. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Let me check if my okay. head is still there. <laughs> <laughs> so how, how do you yeah. handle them? How do you? Well, I think God, basically, because it is not by my strength, too. Mm. Mm. Mariah, don't do like this. It no, is I don't understand. God will definitely no, it, well, is, it my, is, it, is it my strength that no. I, I run away from all of them? Okay. It is not now. They will come. I'm serious. They will come. You just get in the moment they get to know that. In fact, the street ones. The moment they get to know that actors are lodged in this hotel, you see them Magic. coming in in droves. Whoa. You see. And you see, they come. They even want you to just be with them. They are not asking you for money or for anything. Mm, yeah. Even on the street, people just see you. They just come and say, ah, somebody by number. And because you don't want people to say you are rude. You take the number. Yeah, some would try the number there to know if it's a fake number. <laughs> so we see this every day. So you, but, uh, you did your first movie, and it was a gospel movie. Yes. And I read that it was a pact you made with God that your first My movie first was going to, yes. your first production was going to portray yeah. God's message. Yeah. Um, do you want to find it? Do you want to continue in that line, or are you looking to commercialize your productions? Strictly commercial. Let's just do a movie well, that will sell comedy. Money. Yes, something. even the one you do in churches, you still sell them. Nobody ever does any <laughs> any, any gospel movie and say and distribute it all around for free. <laughs> sell them. Nobody now. Oh, it's all for money. So me, I don't mm. really. I had little problem with the gospel um, um, associations and all that. Mm. Yeah, because of this, um, this them trying to separate the secular and the gospel. Yeah. And the gospel. But me, I say to me, everything is is acting its job. Mm -hmm. So I do secular, Sorry. I sell. I do gospel, I sell. How was the, what are the challenges you faced in produ producing by yourself, though? What, what, what are the things you feel the government can do to improve um, <sighs> Nollywood? Well, well? They will not bring money because when they bring money, they, they create crisis amongst the different guilds in Nollywood. Mm. Oh. So I, for one, will suggest that they should stop. Let them empower us by building structures, structures for us. Yeah. Mm. What kind of structure? Systems. When you go, when you yeah. go, yes, we it's don't have a structure. So. You don't have a structure. I, is, I had a recent interview and I said it there again, I will say it here again. When you go to National Assembly to source for fund, you go there as a guild, which guild? Mm. You go there as probably Tampan. You go again next week, they ask you which guild you say AGN. They ask you which one is AGN, which one is Tampan. Mm. Can't you guys just go and come under one umbrella, mm. under one structure, and then we get this thing? Mm. Build structures for us, film villages, people talk about mm. it in Badagri, up to now there's nothing. We go cap in hand begging for houses too. I heard they're building one in right and now. You pay. Because the government is building one in Nepal. We pay, yes. You pay seriously. You pay. I have that experience. So if you have these collapsible structures and then you just build your studio and then you do that, you will spend less. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Now, if you, you do your budget, you look at location, you look at props, you look at different things that it's like what the government should do for Thank you. Thank you, Tifek, for calling. Go ahead, please. Sorry for keeping you. Hello, Hello. good morning. Good morning. Go ahead, please. You're live, Tifek. Please go ahead. We're out of time. Thank you. And is the children born out of wedlock to be blamed and for the suffering they are suffering or oh. from, the, from the mother? Oh. Like um, a single mom um, taking care of the children alone, is the children to be blamed no. or who is to be blamed? That's a critical question we need to actually address, but we can't address that today. It's something that, as I said, we're going to talk about it because Again. it's talking about yes. being a single mother mm. or a single Probably father. She was a single but we're, we're, was a child forgetting about the child involved yes. in the conversation. Who's vulnerable? So, those are the various angles we're going to discuss. We'll yeah. do a show and then, but week. immediately child something is. you should go away with is the child is never, is never to be blamed. The child is innocent. Never. Yeah. So, so have you won any awards? Well, um, awards, yes. I've been invited to a couple of. Um, schools mm. to attend them um, weekly these are creative arts weekly programs and i okay. got a couple of awards there but recently on sunday city people award um not personal award actually but mm. one of my uh, yeah um Awaladu, oh. won an award, best um, oh, fantastic tv series you that's good. Ah, so, that's good. Yes, uh, thank you so much <laughs> For me, like, um, family is very important, and I've always wondered yes. how actors, you know, do that. You do your work, which can be almost too intimate, some of the yeah. things that you do, some of the jobs that you do. How does that affect your family life, your, your wife, your wife, yeah. your children, yeah. 
Okay. I will, it, it just happened normally, but um, my wife, um, I beg her to see reason with what I do before we got married. She knows this is what I was into. And um, mostly when I'm not on set, I stay at home. Okay. I stay at home. So I do everything to encourage the woman. That so what are we expecting from you? What's the new thing? Well, what you look out for? I'm putting up something. And I'm also thinking of um, meeting one or two people who have promised to come in to help. From the production? Yes, yes, a production majorly. I just did that as a test run, the gospel mm -hmm. movie. Okay. Now I want to do a cinema movie, Full Fledge. Mm. Wow. I so keep you're going to politics or something. Are you <laughs> looking into politics? I am a political observer. I talk strongly on politics, but uh -huh. I'm not ready to go into politics right now. So we can yes. bring you on to talk about politics on, on your view. Willing? Are you willing to come on your Why not? Mm. Why not? That's good. Honestly, why not? Lisa, you heard that. Available. Yeah, yeah, but it's sometimes because of our job. As a matter of fact, <laughs> people call me to warn me that. Yeah. Ralph, stay on the fence. Mm. Yes. yes, because we love you so much, we don't want you to... So you might not really get out the truth. Yes. That's all we can take. Thank you so much. Thank you. For coming. <laughs> all the rest of your plans. Thank you. All right, that's all. That's a wrap on the show this week. Have a fabulous weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Bye oh, bye. somebody contacted you about my streets. Please. Yes. I live in Koshofe. Oh. Hey, where's my LCD? My LCD is Kosi <laughs> Sherry. Kosi Sherry. I live off CMD Road. Come and do my road, or government officials. Please. <laughs> they are contacting Dr. already. Yes. Where's her address? We'll oh send my address. God. My road needs clearing and what's that? Grid dinner. and what's grid dinner? Grid Osha <laughs> Bamiche. All right. Have a fabulous week. We'll see you next week. Bye. Thank you so much.